out the safest way to get to school on my scooter. Thanks, Sean. So the safest route may not be the same as how you would get there by car. Choose a route on footpaths using streets that have less cars travelling on them or where the cars are travelling slower, so back streets are good. There may be shortcuts through parks or between streets that you can use to get away from moving cars. Choosing good places to cross is also important. And then test out your route with an adult to figure out if it's a good one. Point out things to watch out for along the way. How do you make busy roads safe to cross? Kia ora Phoebe. We try and slow traffic down and we also create safe crossing points away from parked cars and driveways. We also use zebra crossings, traffic lights and school crossing patrols to stop traffic completely when you're crossing the road. Remember when you're using footpaths there are yellow squares at the end of the footpath that you can use to wait and then look for traffic. So remember stop, look and listen and look again before you cross. Thanks! How do we stop people from driving like idiots? When we're talking about idiots, we're talking about people who are not obeying the road rules. Now when this is intentional, we rely on the police issuing tickets, like speeding tickets. Um, when it's not intentional and humans make mistakes, we rely on the road being designed so that those mistakes don't cause death or serious injury. Why do crashes happen? Thanks Evelyn. Crashes happen for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons is that people are distracted while they're driving because they're looking at their phones. Another reason is the drivers speed too quickly on the roads. Some drivers break the road rules and even drive through red lights, and even drivers fall asleep while they're driving. But the main reason is that drivers just make honest mistakes, and that's why we need to make the roads safer for everyone. Why do kids need to be in the car seat and adults don't? When it comes to protecting people in a car, especially in a crash, seatbelts are the top of the list, but they have to fit to work properly. The seatbelts that mum and dad use are too big for kids, which is why you have to be in a car seat. The seatbelt works by holding your hips, shoulders and chest to secure you in a crash. But if the seatbelt is too big for you, it can't do its job properly. A car seat fits you better so that you're protected in the same way as mum and dad. Hi, my name is James. My question is what is the most likely time of day to have a car crash? Kia ora James, so we've crunched the numbers for you and the time of day when the most crashes happen is between 3 and 5 p.m. on weekdays and this is because a lot of people were travelling at that time. You're going home from school, your parents are going home from work, people are going to the shops, going to sports practice. When lots of people are travelling, there's lots of crashes. Where is the safest place to walk on the foot? On any road, but especially busy roads, I recommend walking down the centre of the footpath That'll give you some separation from fast moving traffic, but it'll also give you space to keep an eye on driveways where there could be vehicles moving in and out. Stay alert, keep your eyes and ears open and be aware of your surroundings. 